Meanwhile, in Volusia County, a beloved historic flower shop is dealing with a lot of damage from an electrical fire. Flames engulfed the second story of Zahn's Florist in Daytona Beach yesterday. Now, though firefighters were able to put out the flames and no one was hurt, the owner says it's going to take a lot to rebuild and some more help to keep his business running. News 6 is Crystal Moyer reports from Volusia County. Firefighters tell the owners the fire started here on the second floor. The business hasn't been using this floor because it was undergoing renovations. Now this family owned business will have to start over coming out of pocket for expenses because they didn't have fire insurance. If you live in Daytona Beach, you'd recognize this retro green and pink sign outside Zahn's Flowers. Owner Leah Mahalko says it's been a part of this community for nearly 100 years, owned by the Zahn family. My grandparents bought the store from the Zahn family in the late 70s. This place is my whole life. It's, you know, we grew up here and now I bring my child here and it's just it's everything, everything to us. Early Sunday morning, a fire broke out on the second floor. Mahalko says the cause was an old outlet. These are photos she and her family took when they arrived. I could see just the smoke billowing in. No one was inside the business at the time. What's left, though, has Mahalko and her family heartbroken. It's, it's just gut-wrenching. The damage is extensive and not covered because Zahn's Flowers doesn't have fire insurance. The second floor completely charred, merchandise ruined, a hole through the ceiling just patched up. We had family and friends and perfect strangers just showing up to help us and clean and mop and drop off food. And it's the outpouring of help has just been immense and we are just so appreciative. If you would like to help out, there is a GoFundMe account set up to help cover the repairs for Zahn's Flower Shop. We posted that link on our website, clickorlando.com. In Daytona Beach, Crystal Moyer, Getting Results, News 6.